Hello, everybody. I'm Chris from Halibar.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to mount Linux partitions in Windows using the driver ext 2 fsd We'll go to the website. Here we have a list of features and a link to the downloads. I have already downloaded. Let's go straight to installation. Let's install ext 2 fsd Here I want to make ext 2 fsd automatically start at boot time and I want to enable write support for ex2 partitions and force write support for ext3 partitions. Starting the volume manager and we see here on disk 0 which is my first disk we have three Linux partitions and one Windows. And on the disk one, we have two Windows partitions and two Linux partitions. Disk two is a card reader on a printer. And then we have three optical disks. I'm now going to give these Linux partitions a drive letter and I want to call this one P and I want to create a permanent mount point. The next one I want to call Q permanent mount point and this one will be called R and then we have these two on the other disk add S And finally, add a T here for this last Linux partition. Done. Now I'm going to reboot to make it possible to mount these Linux partitions. See you soon. I have now rebooted. Let's look at Windows Explorer. Drive C, D and E are my Windows partitions. F is a printer with a card reader. J, K and L are my three optical drives. And then we have the five Linux partitions. Let's go into Kubuntu. Here we have Kubuntu. Go into etc and open the file called fstep which defines the partitions to be mounted in Linux. If you in Linux want to mount a Windows partition you have them all here. You enter these lines in the file called fstep. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll put some links down in the description below. Thanks for watching.